Many people do not know that the Chinese were among Kelowna's earliest settlers. With a 90% male population, the Chinatown in Kelowna reached a peak of about 500 people in 1930. The Chinese came to Canada in search of gold. Many planned to make a small stake for themselves and return to their families in China or send for their families to join them here. The Chinese community in Kelowna was located near City Park, between what is presently Harvey Avenue and Leon Avenue. There are no remnants left of the former Chinatown in Kelowna's downtown today. So who were these people, and what do we know about them? Most of the Chinese people that lived here were field laborers for orchardists and farmers. There were others who opened businesses, such as cafes and laundries in the downtown area. The Chinese population was largely isolated from the rest of the community. During the early 1900s, many British Columbians were fearful of an unchecked tide of Chinese immigration. A Chinese head tax was proposed in 1885 of $50, which increased to $500 by 1903. With the Chinese Exclusion Act of 1923, Chinese immigration to Canada was brought to a halt. This prevented the Chinese people from bringing their wives over to live with them, and it meant that there were no replacements for the men who died or returned to China. The Chinese population slowly drifted away, with only 50 or so remaining by 1960. Today, the shops have been demolished, and the only evidence that remains of the old Chinatown is the last building to be removed from the area, the Wong family house, which has been relocated and reassembled in the Kelowna Centennial Museum. What are some of the lasting influences that the Chinese community has had on Kelowna? Can you find any evidence of Chinese influences in our community today?